Hello, Doctor. Doctor Zarin, how are you? I am good, sir. <laughs> Great to see you today. And uh, with uh, amazing ranks and top class ranks for CDBS yes, in sir. NESS. And I don't know what I mean, has been to. CML has been too, <laughs> and uh, your AML has also been too. Yes. Sir, sir again, I am getting ranked too also second time, and May AMS also I was yes. ranked too. I mean, what is an, what what happened? Why you uh, I mean repeated again? I mean, I won't ask you before I start also. Yeah. Yes, sir. Actually, uh, sir, when the joining for that May AMS exam, the last date of joining was thirty first of uh, July, and. Uh, if you remember during april may the covid wave was very serious so my ms exam got postponed three times originally yes. it was in may then it was postponed to june later it was postponed to august so i didn't have my ms passing only for me to join so eligibility was a problem yes sir so i went there also with all documents with uh, from a letter from my university and everything saying that because of the covid set, uh, situation the exam was delayed kindly consider and give one month of late joining hmm. uh, consider for admission give late joining but uh, they did not listen so they told me to come back in november so here i am they didn't listen and now uh, it's a delay of 6 uh, months cut off so yes, to sir. to be back i mean on your speciality yes sir and when did you uh, determine that you want to do, do CDBS? Sir, that was pre-decided during MBBS days only, sir. That uh, this is what I would want to pursue. So. I think the same question I asked you yes, in the previous yes. interview also. Yes, and you had told me that uh, cardiac surgeons, they already know. They don't decide it just one year back or six months back. Yeah. They already know that this is what they want to do. Yeah, even before MBBS, they decide to do cardiac surgery. That's how it is. And... Uh, and I congratulate you. I mean, again, striking, coming and striking on the same number and yes. back with the same vigor and same enthusiasm and uh, same stamina and to yes. make it happen. And it's very good. And greetings to you on behalf of uh, the entire Speed faculty team. And I'm here to wish you and congratulate you. Thank you, sir. And uh, having got a uh, rank for qualification and for admission and uh, seat denied because of uh, the eligibility of the extension and still coming back and working on to the NESS, AIMS converted into NESS and to selection process through that. And what was running in your mind? Sir, uh, if you remember initially, okay, after that uh, scenario happened, mm -hmm. immediately I started studying for my MS exam because, because it was just in two months. So at that time, I only studied general surgery, what we regularly do. And I gave my exams and after, when that got over, again, there was another bomb that they released that now they have changed the pattern completely. I was okay with uh, going for NEET as well, but then they changed the pattern. I still remember uh, then we started with crash course and everything and I was so lost and confused. And uh, I remember in one of the classes you had said uh, that if you have any problem, you can always WhatsApp me and talk to me. So I had... Uh, sent you a WhatsApp saying that, sir, I always wanted a central institute and this is what has happened. What should I do? Should I fall into this crash course, this general surgery preparation or should I still continue? Because till then we knew that again, AIMS would happen, Chitra would happen and the format was of that would have been specialty plus general surgery. And that was, I was good enough in that. I was very good with the specialty and I had just finished general surgery MS. And... Uh, right. So you said, yeah, don't worry, you just go ahead, just prepare whatever you've already prepared and you will get it. That time you had said and it just came through. So I just didn't follow anything, whatever the news was going on. I just continued the same preparation. I was only preparing for specialty. And um, just before the exam, uh, I think one month before exam, I used to attend your general surgery classes Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And it is all general surgery I was doing. And... Uh, you like that was a very good revision and because i had just come out of ms exam in uh, august only so that was again very fresh so as you had advised us that in the last uh, month only do your specialty subject so i only did the uh, feed uh, i watched the videos again mm -hmm. because that i had seen last in april april may and then i went through everything again i saw all the uh, PPTs, which are the notebooks which are uploaded on the app again. 
at the same time arun kumar sir was still continuing classes every monday friday for in ess preparation so i again attended those classes so speed was kind enough to let me continue it and i was still attending the same classes even though i had been but i was so much in love with everything and it was just very good so i kept continuing that only and i just gave the exam without thinking much so that will have a greater impact when you go for the first year and the second year of mch and yes. your preparation of this 6 months will hold you uh, in a different position and your understanding will be at a greater heights yes sir yes sir definitely sir definitely because through our selection process it was not like this and uh, it was very very not very strict competition when we did we did to some extent not to the deeper extent of uh, uh, substitution or skill so now it has been in a different shape now you have almost done what to be in the final year mch for a theory so yes, that is a level of preparation you people have done today so yes. now it's only here after cutting now here after is only a training process in surgical process and everything almost there is done now i i have seen uh, people now using this app more yes. after joining mch yes sir i was just about to say that in one of the classes you had said that and you will never get so much of time to read during your specialty irrespective whatever you use and these notes and these classes will help you like when you are sitting or even completing notes or writing files and you know it will keep on you will remember it you will revise it and that is what you will remember at the end of your exam also that is it's correct sir i'm going to use that <laughs> the th- level of theory knowledge today what you acquired will be almost the same yes. in the yes. final year of mch and your uh, surgical skills will improve a lot and that's yes. going to be the additional now so i, I mean once again i congratulate you and you. for uh, striking back again the same vigor and same enthusiasm and the same rank i didn't yeah. expect it sir definitely because of all the changing patterns and so much of uh, you know chaos going around and plus again in ess was also a big news that was never announced before and uh, plus their format was also not clear that whether they are doing 50 50 they are doing 20 60 what was going on we just like you said go for the exam and give it so it was a little scary because again because you've done well in the last exam there is certain level of expectation that everyone has with you so you will live up to that expectation with the changing format and we had to also as soon as our ms exam got over we had to compulsorily join bond service also sir correct so it's not like hey, i could have taken that two months break and i was working even while giving the exam i was working only previously and i went and i gave the exam after i came back also i was working only as i went back to do so today also i just came back from the hospital and i am here sitting here on top <laughs> great on the move <laughs> surgeon yes. on the move <laughs> yes, sir. yes sir good and you will enjoy this specialty thoroughly no doubt about it and keep enjoying and yes, you will you will feel uh, the first day i mean i'll just tell you uh, what my experience was i'll just share with you the first day i mean i hope you would have seen cardiac surgery previously itself and have you have you been into the theaters of ctvs previously yes sir i used to attend ots in my hospital uh, ctvs sometimes after my work was over i would just go and stand in the OT. have you have you have you scrubbed there previously no no, no. so now the first day when you scrub in ctvs as a surgeon yes as a first year of post graduate and you will be made to assist and even you will be made to given a case of an asd closure that is the first year case where the yes. post graduate is given so that point of time you will go on a pump and it will be very exciting for you and as you go on the pump you will arrest the heart and yes. the cannulations and the, i mean aortic cannulation is the most important this you will remember when you when you do aortic yes. cannulation and as a, you successful aortic cannulation it will assist you and you will be able to do it and venous cannulation i mean it's, it's not that difficulty as an aortic cannulation once you have done successfully and you will put the heart into arrest and then you finish you are uh, prepare and uh, you closure and after that you will uh, bring back mm, the heart in beating yes and you will be in the cardioplegic cage and the kind of uh, the happiness and satisfaction at that point of time will be something which is very great and unique and yes. you will feel like a magician you will feel like a top of the world <laughs> you will feel very good and that feeling is very great and, and after that and the patient closed and the sternum chest closed and and a wiring done and you bring back the patient and uh, when you extubate the patient and when the patient uh, and sees you and greets you you will feel very good and this is very very exciting and the first case is very exciting and uh, and you will also be a little nervous and you will be stressed but still 
the output uh, you will definitely feel good and that is the greatest feeling and you will enjoy it yes definitely okay so and surgery is a king of surgeon king of surgery and cardiac surgery and uh, you will definitely as a team you will definitely enjoy keep enjoying and keep doing your work keep doing your work and i also yes, congratulate you I mean don't people will I mean even discourage you I mean it will take a long time to, for a career to settle don't hear on that and i am a surgeon it's taking it's going to take a long time no issues i enjoy the surgery and keep doing it keep going yes, sir. okay yes, sir. all the best we'll keep in touch bye bye yes sir thank yes, you thank and wish you a happy new year and wish you a, uh, i mean a successful career in cardiac surgery yes sir thank you so much thank you thank you <laughs>